Confessions of a Shy Baker, Volume 1 Review. Other real estate companies have recently started marketing themselves as such, so why did we jump on the LGBT-friendly bandwagon? The mini Miss Kuzubi likely make this suggestion to her boss, Toshimitsu Yamamura. He's on his guard, owner of a real estate company. Toshi is gay, in a long-term relationship with his boyfriend, care worker Gonta, but he's been very careful to conceal this fact for his young and keen employee, which is quite carried away with her idea. Wanted to put a rainbow colored flag in the window and Toshi is very uncomfortable with that. Knowing that Miss Kozoi doesn't really understand the real life implications of such a gesture, easygoing Gonta is less bothered with than Toshi discusses his worries with him and reminds him that he's, it's not just LGBT people who have difficulty finding apartments. People needing care have the same problems. Toshi is excited by this suggestion. He can advertise to an agency to people with any kind of special requirements, such as musicians or pet owners as well. Now he and Gonta can sit back and enjoy the roll cake that Toshi had, has baked for him with his sweet tooth in his waistline and mind. Their daily routine continues with Toshi preparing more low calorie sweet treats for the two of them but also inviting around some famous friends for his yoga class to sample his cooking but when an old university friend of Gonta's, Pororin, opens a gay bar for mature adults and invites the two to the opening. Toshi takes along a special wrap bag of freshly baked oatmeal, cookies as a gift. Pororin turns out to be in full-on cliche camp gay bar owner mode, wearing a loud shirt and asking Toshi in this creative questions about his sex life with Goni, which, understandably, but puts Toshi in a really bad mood. The final strip comes with Pororin tells them how much he hates homemade food, but it is kind Hunter steers a calm waters of Toshi and Gonta's relationship. A phone call from Toshi's parents sparks a life-changing encounter. Toshi's aunt has had a fall, has had to go into care, so she's sending Toshi one thing she can find a home for. What can this possibly be? Now read on. Having recently come to the end of another series of the great British Bake Off, Kane Bakers and Mopsovers, might be looking around for other cake-based media. It was better than this genial slice of life, which with each chapter featuring a recipe from a sweet treat and the emphasis being on healthy living and low calories. Recipe range from coconut whipped cream royal cake, Swiss roll in, in the UK, drunk almond milk pudding to big pe tofu donuts, delicious. Some of the ingredients, okara, so soap up, and sick leaves may be rather difficult to find in UK shops, but recipes like spice kato, oat chocolate, or oatmeal cookies are definitely a double. Toshi talks us, drawing the instructions as he prepares the recipes. Mashashiro doesn't fool me, Yoshinagas, what did you eat yesterday? Undoubtedly an influence and an excellent one on this title. There's an explanatory page at the end of each chapter called Toshi's Bite Size Notes with extra culinary tips relating to the feature recipe if it prefers your BL protagonist to be young and good looking. That this story will be probably not to be, be your cup of tea, but passing it by will be a shame as it fools of dryly with the observations about contemporary life from a gay perspective and includes some delicious and low calorie maybe lower. Recipes for cakes and desserts. The century, central couple make a believable middle-aged par pair, comfortable in the relationship, ultra understandably wary of the gaze of others like Miss Kozoi who tends to make assumptions without seeing the possible implications. There's a chapter in which Toshi remembers the Agonis. He went through once ordering a birthday cake by phone from a bakery for Gonta. He finds himself unable to answer the most basis, basic questions. How many candles? Because of his fears that we revealed that he was gay to the bakery, and that how could he pick up the cake in person. All the agonizing lead to him cancelling the order and making a cake himself, the first of many. This is the first manga I read by Masaomi Ito, and the first, I think it by license in English, under much of his earlier output is seinen or shonen. The arc is frankly quite rough and sketchy in places. Under it tells the story effectively, the mangaka's wise sense of humor comes strong in his depictions of the yoga class Toshi assiduously attends at the four Co four coma sketches at the end about Pororin in his bar, sorry about that, but there are a few un uncomfortable moments with the LGBTQ+, curious Miss Kozoi Atenza, lecture LGBTQ+, awareness. She finds herself in a discussion group with a cross-dresser who is portrayed her in silhouette, referring back to Matsuko Deluxe, a cross-dressing TV personality who she's ingeniously told Toshi she likes. I don't think that the mangaka intends to portray this character as black drunk all drawn the all black figure raises an awkward questions at the reader's mind. I'm sure that the plans was to remind Japanese readers of the TV personality without actually depicting them. 
The translation for Toki Pop is by ever reliable Katie Kimura, who copes effortlessly with all the recipes. A second volume has already been released in Japan, and its first volume is currently available as a digital version. The print version is scheduled for February 14. This is the third BL manga I'm reviewing this month by male mangaka, and all three of the titles feature different aspects of what it means to be gay in contemporary Japan. But two of them, three, two of the three have a teen, 30 plus rating. Under, if I'm honest, I don't think this title will appeal to a young teen audience unless they're keen on cooking low-calorie sweet treats. 7 out of 10.